Hey everybody. Today we're gonna be working on the freestall barn here in Pen 2, which is our group where we keep the first calf heifers, uh, the, the youngest milking cows. And this is the last group here that has the original mats that we put in when we built the barn back in 2004. And it's time we replace them. They're getting pretty flat and not as comfortable. We wanna go through, tear these all out of here. And we got new mats out here. We're gonna put them in and should be a lot more comfortable to lay on them things. Since this group has the smallest animals, we have this pipe here in the front of the stalls and it helps keep the cows laying farther towards the back of the stall so that it hopefully keeps the manure off. And so we're gonna have to roll this back. We're gonna just set it up here in the front so we can get everything cleaned out and pull the mats out. We got the pipe off. We have 21 stalls along here, so we'll do three sets of seven. Start by cleaning them off here, and then we'll get the mats out of the way. Got them cleaned off here. These are held down just by two small screws up at the front, one here and one here. Just gotta grind the top of them off and then the mess will just come right off. Got the mats out. Now we gotta clean this little layer of shavings out that was underneath the mats so we can put the new ones on flat concrete. Breaking the screws off with a hammer. How's it going, bro? Huh? Got everything cleaned off. Now we're gonna start bringing the new mats in. The stalls are all 48 inches, but this first one here is a couple inches shorter or thinner. So we gotta cut the first mat a little bit. These mats will stretch out over time. So we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap between them and then also extra space here at the end because they're gonna work their way back slowly as they stretch out. Got 
a hammer drill here. We're just gonna drill two holes up there at the front and put two nails down through into the concrete and that'll hold them. Got them all secured, they're good to go. I guess dad's just testing them out real quick. We'll just pull that bedding back over here and move on to the next set of seven. We're working at the second set of seven here. Just about ready to bring the new mats into here. Okay, we're getting there. Just gotta fasten these last seven. We already did the ones on the back side of here a couple weeks ago, so this will be the end of this job. Okay, it's good to have that done. Took about three hours. We decided to go with these mats. These were different than the ones we had used to replace in the other groups. And we like these because uh, they're a little more affordable than some of the other ones that we had looked at. And as far as cost, they were like $107 a piece, which is quite a bit better than some other kinds we've used. Cow comfort is an extremely important thing. We wanna make sure our cows are laying down and are feeling good. And uh, so that's why mattresses are very important. Here in pen one and pen four, we actually have water beds. And you see me cleaning these off when I milk. These are very comfortable. The cows really like them. These were quite a bit higher at cost. And there's some disadvantages. They're a little bit harder to clean off. And also we've had trouble with shavings working this way underneath. And we actually had to go through and clear out underneath them, clean them out once already and it was pretty annoying but we generally like them because of the comfort we decided to go with something a little different here for these younger cows so they'll like these these mats just fine got the old mats here now they still have a little bit of value we either sell them real cheap to someone or use them for something else we'll see I'm gonna stop here in the shop and grab a refreshing beverage yet